What's up guys? So as you can see, the Bronco is kind of in the garage. We're doing our first mod and I'm pretty excited for this. See, there's about two inches, three inches, a gap between the top of my garage and this Bronco. So lifting is probably out of the option. Probably weren't gonna do it anyway, but if we wanted to, it wouldn't fit in our garage anymore. But the mod we're doing today is a spare tire brake light. I got one on Amazon that's plug and play instead of having the wire ups, especially when it comes to a new vehicle, I hate cutting into wires. So I'm really excited for this mod. I will link this brake light, the spare tire brake light down below. And if you're watching this later on, you know, months or years later, I will put in the description how long this lasted because this wasn't the most expensive. I think it was like 60 bucks, but it was one of the only few that one was had more than just one strip and two was plug and play. That was the main reason I bought this one. I can wire, it's no big deal, but cutting up new wires just on a, it just hurts. So this is plug and play. It should be super simple, but I'm not sure what the quality is like because it was only like 60 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead, and throw that on and see what it looks like. If you're wondering what size lug nuts they are, they are 19 millimeters and it should just come right off. It shouldn't be torqued too bad on the spare. See, it just fits on the three studs that the spare tire is on so now i just need to find where the plugins are back here to get to the wiring you have to remove these down here they're t25 i believe the video i watched said t15s but these are t20s and they're smaller so you have to remove these and then the wiring's in this so you'll have to also remove these and pull it apart to get to the wiring you have to remove these down here they're t25 i believe the video I watched said T15s, but these are T20s and they're smaller. So you have to remove these and then the wiring's in this. So you'll have to also remove these and pull it apart. Careful when you pull this up because it is attached by a wire right there and it is very short, not much room for moving it around. Have all the screws out. The back actually pulls off this front and then the clip is right up here. Mine on a 22 was covered in this um, felt like tape but there was a button you could just push right here really hard and pull back. And then this next should just, the two should just plug into this and that. Get in and I snaked it up through the bottom and then I'm just gonna have to find a spot to put it in through here. And, but we'll see if it works. So it works and it looks pretty good. I am a little sad it doesn't just have like a, a running light. I'm able to snake it up on the other side of where the original wiring harness is. So this is the other side and just tucked it in right here and there was plenty of space all along up and to go in here. It was a little tight squeeze, but I was able to clamp together and then put the screws back in. Bolted up, I also took a zip tie and tied the extra wire into the existing one just so it can't come down through the bottom right there. It's all back together and honestly, you can't really tell it's there. It blends in pretty good because it's dark and then it lights up only when you hit the brake light. Like I said, I'm going to link it down below. I got it from Amazon. It's plug and play. Mine's a Badlands. There was one comment saying they couldn't get theirs to fit on their Badlands. They just don't know what they're talking about. But I will update in the description if this ever goes out, be it a week, a year, or two years from now. So see you guys next week. Hopefully we're doing some more mods to the Bronco.